Hello coders, this is Jared with Renaissance Coders and today I'm kicking off a new playlist that's going to cover source control. So this first video is going to just give a quick introduction into source control and why we should really use it. So we're going to cover several topics within this video beginning with what is source control, then the his a history of source control, how is source control used, why is source control so important? And then I'm going to show a few popular source control platforms. And finally, just sort of cover what you can learn from our source control tutorials. Okay, so what is source control really? Source control is the management of changes to collections of information. Now, these changes are typically found when a file has been updated and saved within a particular directory that our management system monitors. A collection of information could be anything from images, code files, Unity assets. Basically, we can track several different types of files. Source control also goes by several different names, including source control, version control, revision control, and there are a few others out there. So I know initially when I got started working with source control, I would see all these different uh, terms and think they were different things, but really it's all the same thing. Uh, we're just trying to create a platform in which we can manage our projects more easily. And typically we track changes by having a revision number, commit number, or some other type of identifier based on specific updates to our source. Now the specific updates can be handled a little bit differently between the varying platforms of source control. Sometimes it's based on a file. Um, with the newer systems that people are using though, it's typically based on a commit. So you have several files that are updated and say at the end of the day you decide to commit those changes. Then that specific commit gets an identifier that's usually an alpha numeric string that we can reference in the future. Okay, now a quick history of source control. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here because it's not extremely important, but it is nice to sort of know where it came from. So source control has been around since the early 80s. Uh, some people say about 1982 was when the first uh, management pl platform was released. But basically all we really care about that is that it has been around for a really long time and it's taken several forms over that amount of time. Source control was invented in an attempt to ease the jobs of software developers and make it easier to maintain software development projects. So source control was really an answer to a pretty specific question of can we make it easier to maintain projects. Now most source control historians consider us to be in the renaissance of source control because we have some really dynamic systems that have a low barrier to entry. Typically in the past with other iterations of source control, the platforms have either been really expensive or not very intuitive uh, and really difficult to use. So that's why we call right now the renaissance is because now we've got these really easy to use platforms that are really dynamic and help us to maintain the system really easily. Currently there are several ongoing projects that are still in development today that developers are using and we can honestly hope to see bigger and brighter versions of source control in the future. Okay, so how is source control used? Well, most computer applications actually use some type of source control. Think about it, you can quickly maneuver between changes that you have made to things like Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, content management system pages for websites, code changes, etc. The list goes on and on. Basically, most computer applications today have some way of managing um, revisions to files. Google Docs also has its own sort of management system for versions of files. So you can go and look at all of the changes that have been made to a file and revert back or you know if you've reverted back in the past then you can revert forward, things like that. So for our intentions, we're, we're actually going to focus on how source control is used by software engineers during the development process of applications rather than, you know, how to use um, source control within Google Docs or something like that. We're really focused on how to use source control as a developer. So as software engineers or developers, we can use source control in order to easily maintain our code between team members, have iterations of the project under development at the same time, and have a solid backup or repository of the project for the future. So why is source control so important? 
Well, source control is an extremely valuable tool for developers and a skill that can save developers from a lot of headaches in the future. Source control allows for developers to have live client facing versions of applications and specific development versions that are hidden from clients or users. Source control gives developers the ability to quickly revert to previous versions of an application or to quickly push updates out to clients. Source control allows for multiple developers to work on the same project at the same time without forcing developers to work in specific files or on specific functionalities. And finally, source control allows developers to quickly get access to the latest code in a project without complex integration steps. So source control is, is really important to us as developers because it really just makes our lives a lot easier. So here I've just got four popular, quote unquote, source control platforms. Um, the first one is Git. Git is by far the most popular source control platform being used today. Uh, Git was released in 2005. It's available on several platforms and Git is easy to use and maintain. The next one on our list is Subversion and Subversion is an open source source control platform that is maintained under the Apache license. Uh, SVN or Subversion was released in 2004. So the next on our list is Mercurial, and it is a cross-platform distributed revision control tool for software developers. Mercurial was released in 2005, like Git. And the last one on our list has been around for the longest, and it is Perforce. And Perforce is actually a commercial proprietary revision control system developed by Perforce Software, and it was released in 1995. So Perforce is actually the only commercial specific or exclusive um, source control platform in this list. When I was creating the, these slides, I actually did a little research into which of the source control platforms are the most popular. And Git was by far uh, the one that I found to be the most popular. In several polls, I saw that it had like 86% approval to uh, like subversion 6 and, you know, like even less than that. So Git is really the most popular source control platform out there today. And that's the one we're going to be focusing on. So finally, what can you learn from our source control tutorials? Well, we are going, like I said, we're going to focus on Git throughout most of our tutorials, but we can delve into some of the other systems if we get enough requests. We have extensive knowledge on the Git platform because we use it for our own projects on a daily basis. So we know that we can provide you with the knowledge needed to utilize Git to enhance your development. We're going to cover the utilization of Git in several projects, which will give you ample opportunities to use Git yourselves. We are also going to dive into using Git for Unity game development, and possibly the Unreal Engine if we receive enough requests. Finally, you will be able to put Git usage on your resume and even use a Git reference to showcase your past work to, poten to potential employers. So the way that I'm going to organize these tutorials is by focusing on specific aspects of Git and how it works. So I'm going to look at things like committing, reverting, um, branching, and best practices, things like that. I really want to show you and give you a great knowledge base to work from. You know, I, I want to cover Git deeply enough that you understand it and can use it very easily in your daily lives because it is a skill that you have to know as a software develop developer today. So that's going to do it for this tutorial. As always, thank you so much for watching. Drop us a like and subscribe if you're looking forward to this playlist. And happy coding.